itakuwa ni nasari ama kwa miche ya mti ambao iko hapa hapa fundisho ya kwamba mazingara ni muhimu eh kila mtu nje kwake apande miti apande miti eh yeah. yeah. so hii tunataka upande kwenu lakini pia tusambaze hiyo neno kwa kila mji ambaye mnatembelea eh ambiwa yeah. kinaamwa tupande miti tulinde mazingara Last time when I went to attend their graduation ceremony, they asked for a bus. And I knew I could not buy through CDF because the law does not allow. If it was CDF, I could have. So I told them I'm going to talk to the president. And Your Excellency, today is a very happy moment for me and them. Now, among them, there are key scholars. The lady on the left who is the center is a PhD holder. She's called Dr. Hawa. So, and some of the ladies here have masters in Islamic studies. So even the, the people who teach are not men, uh, uh, they are fellow women uh, students. So we really want to thank you. This bus will be a landmark in uh, Garissa and in Northeastern. Hafsa bint Sirin is an Islamic, educational, charitable, and welfare community-based self-help organization. It is a woman focused, set up, working for the welfare of humanity, with a special focus on women, orphans, vulnerable girls, disabled, and the elderly. The center is well known for educational and social welfare activities for the, fa for the last five years. Sir, my mother, among other mothers, value the importance of educating a woman following the wise Somali saying, la'an wa iftin la'an, which translates to bila elimu ni bila mwangaza. Your Excellency, Hafsa Bintu Sirin Center will remember you for unforgettably, for unforgettable donation of a brand new bus to our center. This thoughtful donation has not only increased the motivation within our group, but it has also reminded us that you and your administration are beside us throughout our self and community growth. Mr. President, you are aware African women are haunted by repugnant and regressive ideologies alluding that women and girls are there to be seen and never to be heard. Following your style of leadership, we Somali women have taken a chapter from your book, Self-Empowerment for Sustainable Development. This is the foundation of Hafsa Bintu Sirin Center. Your Excellency, a small group of religious women from Garissa County had a dream a dream to reach all women within their area and give them a glimmer of hope through, through self-improvement, to have a safe haven where mothers, sisters, aunts, and daughters can come and express themselves while expanding their brains at the same time. This dream was not only realized, but it has since, been, it has since then become a shared dream, not only among us women within our county, but also our community at large. You're here because we are inspired by the great work that you're doing and we want to encourage you and we want you to continue and we want you to capture even more of our girls and women and we want you to make them realize that they can be meaningful contributors to the development of this country. You have the same capacity as men to help us achieve the dream of prosperity, peace and stability in our country. Actually, you have an even greater role because in the formative years of any child, be they male or female, you are at the center of developing, 
of growing, of instructing that child before you hand them over to the world, their formative years are in your hands. So if you are empowered, you have the capacity also to empower your children and to give them a firm and proper foundation on which they can become meaningful contributors to the development and growth of our country. So ours is to support this kind of initiative. Ours is to encourage you. Ours is to say we are proud of you. It is difficult, but for you to be able to come up and stand on your own ground and to say that you are going to do this not just for yourselves, but for your fellow uh, citizens is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And we can only but support you and encourage you. So mimi nataka kuwapongeza, haswa, wale walianza, nyinyi ambao mumeungana pamoja na wao, na kuwauliza shikilieni hapu hapu, na muendele kwa barabara hiyo, muendele kuhubiri, hiyo injili ya amani, hiyo injili ya umoja, hiyo injili ya wakina mama wanajiweza. Tuasema, ukifungia mama, umefungia nusu ya nchi. Simuliona wa hizi results ambazo zimetokea. Si nusu, karibu nusu ya watoto walikuwa wasichana. Sasa ukifungia nusu, si umefungia nusu ya capacity ya nchi yetu. Hatuwezi kukubali na mna hiyo. Tunataka wakina mama, wawe kama vijana wetu, wawe katikati ya maendeleo na ujenzi wa taifa letu la Kenya. Na tukifanya hivyo, we shall double Kenya's capacity because we have doubled our human capital. So please, I want to congratulate you, offer you all my support, na kama kuna lolote lingine tuwaweza kufanya, hii ni kidogo. Sisi tunataka tuende tusikie siku moja muko na wasichana elfu kumi ambao muna somesha. Hiyo ndiyo lengo letu. Sisi tuwa encourage, tuwa support. Nandiyo tuone garisa ikikua, atuone Kenya ikiendelea mbele.